The term serial killer was first widely used in the 1980s and is defined as a person who murders three or more people, usually in service of abnormal psychological gratification, taking place over a significant period of time. Most serial killings are motivated by anger, thrill-seeking, financial gain, and attention-seeking. Anyone would be shocked and horrified by the names on this list. It's the most deadly serial killers of all time. One of the most infamous American serial killers is John Wayne Gacy, AKA the Killer Clown. Gacy performed in clown attire at children's parties as his clown alter egos Pogo or Patches and admitted to wearing his costume while sexually assaulting, torturing, and strangling his victims, primarily young boys, who he would lure to his home. But it wasn't until 1978 that authorities discovered several trenches filled with human remains in the crawl space under his house. Gacy confessed and was convicted of killing 33 people and was executed by lethal injection in 1994. Robert Willie Picton was a Canadian pig farmer who preyed on sex workers and was nicknamed Pork Chop Rob due to his gruesome method for disposing of his victims, feeding the bodies to his pigs, grinding up the remains, mixing them with ground pork, and selling them to the public. In 2002, police searched the property and discovered the personal items of several missing women, 80 unknown DNA sequences, frozen meat containing the DNA of two women, and a gun with a dildo concealing the barrel. Picton told an undercover police officer that he had killed 49 women and was upset it wasn't an even 50. Nicknamed the Monster Killer, Yang Jihai is China's most prolific serial killer. Between 1999 and 2003, he terrorized several provinces, killing 67 people and committing 23 rapes. His method wasn't elegant. He would sneak into homes at night and use any household items he found, knives, axes, shovels, hammers, to kill. He left no witnesses and disguised his appearance by wearing large clothes and shoes while committing his crimes. He confessed to his crime, saying, when I killed people, I had a desire to kill more. I don't care whether they deserve to live or not. It is none of my concern. After confessing to his crimes, his trial in 2004 lasted only an hour, and he was executed following his conviction. Mikhail Popkov was a police officer in Russia by day, moonlighting as a serial killer. He was nicknamed the werewolf because of how horribly he mutilated the bodies of his victims. Popkov patrolled the streets of Siberia hunting for immoral women who were drunk and behaving frivolously with the mission to clean the city. He would offer them rides and kill them with whatever he had, including knives, axes, baseball bats, and screwdrivers. Apparently, he was an exemplary family man who loved his wife and daughter although it's believed he began killing after suspecting his wife of cheating on him. In 2015, he was convicted of killing 22 women, even though he later admitted to more than 80 murders. Samuel Little is the most contemporary killer on this list, and the FBI is still working on identifying a number of his victims. The agency describes Little as the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history, believed to have killed 93 people. He began killing in the 70s and managed to go undetected for over three decades because most of his victims were sex workers, the homeless, and drug addicts living on the fringes of society. Ted Bundy is easily the most famous killer in American history. He became a media sensation in the 1970s due to his charm, good looks, victim profile, which was college-aged women, and managing to break out of jail twice. He's been the subject of several movies, documentaries, and books. He is the chief suspect in 36 murders, but experts believe he killed 100 or more. He often lured his victims to his car, taking them somewhere to rape and bludgeon them to death. He was captured for good in connection to several murders at a sorority, and bite marks on some of the victims matched him definitively. He was executed by electric chair in 1989. During a span of just six months in 1999, Javed Iqbal murdered 100 runaway boys in Lahore, Pakistan. Javed would lure a boy to his home where he sexually abused him, strangled him, often with a chain, then chopped the body into pieces and dissolved it in a barrel of acid. 
He kept a detailed journal of his victims. One day, after eluding the police for months, he entered a newspaper office, handed over his journal, and announced that he had killed 100 children. He was convicted of all 100 murders, and the judge sentenced him to be publicly executed in the fashion that he killed his victims. He committed suicide in prison. America's first truly infamous serial killer was H.H. H. Holmes. He was also a con artist and combined these two devilish acts with horrific success in the late 1800s. He got engaged to several women, secured their savings, then killed them and sold their bodies to local medical schools. Craziest of all, in 1893, he opened a hotel for the sole purpose of killing tourists visiting for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. The murder castle had secret passages and soundproof rooms for torture and killing, trap doors and chutes, gas jets, and a kiln. Researchers believed he killed over 200 people. He was hanged in 1896. Britain's most prolific serial killer is Harold Shipman, AKA Dr. Death. His co-workers grew suspicious of the amounts of morphine he was prescribing and the number of his patients who were passing away of old age, according to him. In 1998, he was caught forging the will of one of his patients and her natural death was revisited and ruled a homicide. He was convicted on 15 counts of murder, although experts believed he likely killed at least 215 of his patients. In 1999, he was sentenced to life in prison, but in 2004, he hung himself in his cell. The Monster of the Andes is no urban legend. For a decade, Pedro Lopez terrorized areas of Colombia, Peru, and Ecuador, killing over 300 poor and indigenous young girls. In 1980, he was arrested for trying to kidnap a girl and confessed to the murders of 53 others that he'd strangled and dumped into previous dug graves. He was sentenced to 20 years in prison, the maximum in Ecuador, then confessed to killing an additional 240 girls in Colombia, Peru, and Ecuador. In 1998, he seemed to have vanished. Some believe he was killed in prison, but others say he was released on bail or escaped. The deadliest known serial killer of all time is Luis Garavito, or simply the Beast, believed to have killed over 300 people. He roamed Colombia, preying upon the young, poor, and homeless. Garavito would disguise himself as a monk or a priest to lure boys to his home, promising money or food. The bodies were usually discovered with bite marks on them, and the crime scene was surrounded by bottles of liquor. Garavito confessed to the murders of 140 boys and claimed that his body had been taken over by a superior being. He was sentenced to 1,835 years in prison. These 11 evil men have the collective blood of roughly 1,500 people on their hands. It's tragic and disturbing. So why are we so fascinated by such atrocious people? Perhaps it's the notion that humans have the capacity to be this evil and disturbed. Either way, congratulations, you've survived an exploration of the most sick, twisted, and deadly killers of all time.